Billy Eilish yeah, is yeah, Billy. here. Yes, Billy. How are you? Take a little good. sip of your water there. I'm good. I'm I'm great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good. Good to see you. You too. The hair's looking on point. Oh, you think? Yeah. Thank you. I like it a lot. Appreciate it. Have you planned out what the next colour is going to be? Do you think sort of two <laughs> colours ahead, or is it just whatever you're feeling in the moment? I thought I knew. And I really don't. I don't know. I yeah. feel like I was going to change it up. And then I was like, you know what? I feel like this is finally sinking in. Yeah. And my hair has been so <laughs> annoying for so many years that like now I actually like it. And I might just keep it. For yeah. A while. It's you. You're at one with the hair. I'm well, hold on to hair, it. Keep it. Right? For God's That's sake. I'm saying. Um, I just want to run through a couple of stats, Billy. You're a multiple Grammy winner. You're a Brit <laughs> Awards winner. You performed at the Oscars and at the Brits. And you've recorded the new Bond soundtrack as well. And this is all just this year. It's only like February. It's literally February. It's like, are you going to take the rest of the year off? Because no, you probably could. No. Be fine. People Treat yourself having like a 10 month holiday. I know. I know. <laughs> but I, I feel like I'd be so sad. I don't know. I just feel like it'd be so boring for me. Are you I one of those love, people who loves to work? Kind of. Yeah. I, I, I thought I wasn't. And then I had time off and I was like, ugh. Yeah. I'm doing stuff. I want to be like out and. You know, doing my job. What do you do in your time off? Do you sit and watch daytime TV? No, I really don't. I, I, I don't even know. I like to drive, so I'm like always in my car. If I'm home and I have time off, I'm yeah. like driving. You go for a drive. I go for a drive. I take yeah. a bath. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, are you a fan of the Jonas Brothers, Billy? Um. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I Um. I. I kind of missed the. Um, the like huge when everybody was like, yeah, the Jonas Brothers. The first time I, round, I yeah. I just wasn't aware of it, honestly. Yeah, like, yeah. I was too, too Justin Bieber out. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I also didn't watch cable or like Disney Channel or anything, so I didn't see any of those shows. Oh my word. I know. A world without the Jonas Brothers, Billy, it's not a happy place. I know. I'm imagining it and it's making me feel very sad, quite <laughs> frankly. <laughs> no, nah, but they're killing it again. I love that they came They back. are killing very it. Very cute. And you are now a fan. Of, I mean, let's talk about Bieber. Is anyone else you're a big fan of back in the day, or was it just all yeah. about? No, no, no. It was, it was tons of people. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Tyler the Creator, who mm. now that I know, just makes fun of me all day, every day. I see him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that must be very strange. It's weird, but yeah. he's, he's funny as hell. I got yeah. him credit for for helping me find who I was. But can I ask a question about him? Oh yeah. Is his voice really that deep in real life? Or does oh, he put, yeah. I would love it if his real voice, like when he's just chatting yeah, to you, is really like, When Tyler comes into the room, you got to hide your flaws <laughs> real quick. That dude is going to pick them all out yeah. for real. He's funny though. It's all, yeah. it's all like, it's all love, but that's mean. Yeah. <laughs> like he's like, yeah, he just, it's funny though. He's funny. Yeah. We love Tyler. I'm just obsessed with his talking voice. It I does, know. it does no, funny things great, to me, Billy. I'm not going to lie. He's got a great voice. Billy, you <laughs> and your brother, you've done something Ridiculous. historic. You've recorded a Bond soundtrack. This is incredible. It's called No Time to Die. It's an honour. Uh-huh. Um, but the question is, are you contractually obliged to say that Daniel Craig is your favourite Bond of all time? Can I be honest with you? He's the only Bond I've ever <laughs> seen. Uh, okay, so that's a yes so then. That, that's all I could say, just because yeah. I was like not even born for the other ones, mostly. <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, like, Well, he's been doing his, it for ages now as well, hasn't he? His first Bond, I'm pretty sure, was like 2008 yeah. or something, and I was six, so... Okay, cool. You know, yeah. just, I, I, was, I was not born. Not a fan of the Bonds when you were a toddler? No, I just didn't know them. <laughs> I wasn't not a fan, but... It's not um, that kid-friendly, is it, but really, But as soon I guess. as I saw the first one, I was like, hooked. It's, it's really like the most incredible thing. And now you've done the music for it. I, I can't. But I'm excited for you, and it's nothing I, to do with me. It's really, it's really like the biggest honor. It's yeah. like the coolest thing you could do. It actually is. It really is. It actually me. is. It's really cool. Um, so it's Daniel Craig's last film that he's doing as oh, Bond. I know. I'm sure everybody asks you this, but I want to ask you because I think it's fun. Who do you think should be the next James Bond? I just Bond? said this. I said Michael B. Jordan, and I'm going to stick to it. Oh my god! Yeah, that'd be a great shout. I'm, actually, I, I think so. I think he'd kill it. He's an yeah. incredible actor. Not me. <laughs> no. Okay, cool. I mean, me, you to want, be fair, you've put me. I, I can't uh, compare to Michael B. Jordan. Yeah, well. Although we do have very similar can. physiques. <laughs> Honestly, none of us can be compared to that man. That's very true. It's very true. He's a wonderful human being. He looks like he's been he's carved out of stone. He really does. Last week, we saw the love Stormzy had for you on the red carpet <laughs> at the Brits. Uh, Were you a big fan of Stormzy before love that? Love Stormzy. Dude, it's crazy. But <laughs> I was like so jet lagged. I, I was it was a bad hair day. I was just I was all types of 
like you just weren't feeling a hundred percent. I was, yeah, I wasn't had, like, your day. Pants on and like a hoodie. I was really like, <laughs> dying. And I was walking to the bathroom and it was like rainy. It was just sad. Yeah. And I was walking to the bathroom and there Stormzy was standing shirtless in a doorway. Wow. <laughs> and I literally I walked by and he was like, "You're dope." And I was, I just I literally was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, like don't look at my hair, dying. Stormzy. It normally um, looks better than this. No, he's so nice though. Oh, and he's yesterday lovely, isn't I was standing like side stage about to announce dave who won yeah best what was it album yeah or was it i don't know what it was it was album yeah I best album it. i yeah. should know but he's incredible <laughs> too but i was standing there about to do that and stormzy walked by and he was just like yo you're amazing and then he did that interview thing he's, he's yeah such a sweetheart who he knew? is such well nice yeah exa- exactly he is and a lovely so guy dope and like, he's, he's raw as yeah, hell yeah yeah and he's a big music fan as well. Yeah, he is. So I think to have an endorsement from Stormzy, I mean, that's a big deal. Yeah. Would you work with him? Would you get in the studio Hell together? Yeah, we love Stormzy. Yeah. Need to make that happen. Yeah. Can I get a cut of that if that happens? Am I now part <laughs> of it? Is that how it works? Um, I've had a text in from Libby, Billy. She said, ask Billy about her coins obsession. Did you not? You used to like sucking pennies or no, something. Okay, I'm sure listen, I read this, this somewhere. This is something I said almost a year ago now. Okay. That I'm very embarrassed by. Um... There's no shame here, Billy. Okay, so here's the thing. This is I haven't talked about this before. Okay. Thanks, Libby. Yeah, for sure. Big up, Libby. No, honestly, though, I've been meaning to say something. Uh, Over Under is this YouTube thing that I've watched since I was like 10. Okay, what is it? It's basically artists come in and they ask questions. The people behind the cameras go, okay, Here's the blank, and they say something, and the artist has to say either if it's over un- overrated or underrated, and then explain why. Got you. Okay. I was obsessed with this yeah. for like years. My brother and I watched them all the time. Yeah. Earl Sweatshirt did one. Yeah. That I thought was the funniest thing I'd ever seen in my life. <laughs> and basically, I got asked to do an over under about a year, like a little over a year ago, uh-huh. less than. Less than a year ago. Yeah. Jesus. In June. <laughs> so I'm dying. Um, and I was, I like didn't know how to handle myself yeah. because it was something, like I do interviews day in and day out. I've done like a billion of them, but that one. You've watched it for years. I've watched it for You're years. You're invested in and it. And Earl Sweatshirts, I thought nothing could ever top him. So I, I, my mom has been saying for years that I've been like channeling Earl Sweatshirt in every interview I've done <laughs> since I started doing interviews. Wow. And I realized that a couple months ago when I watched that one back and I was like, oh my God, because I'm not him. <laughs> because he's actually him and yeah. he's funny for being him. But I was trying so hard to be funny on yeah. that that I watched it back and I was like, ew, dude, I talked about the grossest stuff. I talked about like pooping. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> laughed. None of you laughed. <laughs> That's how gross. It's gross. I, I mean, it can it be funny. Be it depends funny. on the context. It's because if I was a dude, people would have thought it was funny. But it's okay. It's fine. It's yeah. Better. But anyway, Libby, go away. I didn't. I don't like. Listen, I have an iron deficiency. That's all you got to know. Right. That's all you got to know. So it's like a bit of a metal taste vibe yeah. going on. Love okay. Sweatshirt. Been lo- been in love with him for like six years. That's all we need to know, Billy. We've cleared that up. <laughs> Um, so you said at the Brits last week that you feel like the UK is your second home, mm-hmm. which is, we're so happy to have you. This was a really nice thing for us all to hear. We're happy to have you as an honorary Brit, Billy, of course. Um, why do you love it so much over here, though? Um, I mean, first off, I did my first headlining show here, ever. Wow, This yes. was like the first place that I'd kind of been out of the country, Yeah, sort of, besides... No, yeah, this was like the first place that I really toured. Wow. Um, yeah, first show I ever did. That like was public yeah. and stuff. People waited outside. I was so shocked. It was crazy. It was like a hundred cap venue. Wow. I was so excited. I cried afterwards. It was so amazing for me. Um, <laughs> and I don't know. I just love it here. It's so pretty. And I, you know, the accents are pretty. And yeah. I don't know. I love it. And in my speech, I, I was going to say, London is my second home. And I accidentally just said, Lizzo. And then nothing <laughs> yeah, else. I, I don't know. Did you see amazing, that? Yeah. I was so weird. I, it's, I just got Lizzo on the mind. On well, the look. Lizzo on the mind. She's an incredible woman. I think everyone's got Lizzo yeah. on the mind. She <laughs> was on. She was on form. She was on form. That girl I know, she's loved great. it. Um, have you been to a Weatherspoons yet? This is a big UK thing. What the thing. hell is up with this? This other fool asked me that too. You've been asked about Weatherspoons before. The hell is that? It is. It, he said it's a. It's. Like a doctor's waiting room mixed with a restaurant, mixed with a pub. That's what he said. <laughs> so. And he said there's an app 
that you get food on and then they bring it to your table in yeah. the restaurant. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. You can order on the app. It's like it's like a pub Why slash are you restaurant. Asking people that. Because it's the most incredible place and there's nothing like it anywhere else in the world. There's nothing like this doctor's waiting room pub. You've got to see it in real life. You've got to the see it to believe it. What is this? You'll love it, Billy. We'll what? go down, we'll get you some hash browns, pint of Guinness. <laughs> pint of Guinness. That is <laughs> pint the of most Guinness. British I've ever heard. <laughs> you want some golly lollies? <laughs> God. Y'all are such a stereotype. I love it. Yeah, we are. It's just like, all we're not a stereotype, and then there's a golly lolly pack on the table. <laughs> and I'm like, golly lollies. No, I love it here. I love you guys. You guys are cute. Well, listen, when you're back in the UK in July for the tour, mm -hmm. we're going to go to Weatherspoons, Billy. It's going to happen. Go. I'm taking you there. Let's go. You up for it? I'm, I'm up for it. Okay, nice one. I'm going to hold you to that. Thank you so much for joining me, Billy. It's been a lot of fun. Give it up, please, for Billy Eilish. Yeah.